Hey, it's Dr. Tommy Garanga. When joining you from the forest once again. <clears throat> Ancient Vedic literatures explain that ourselves, the conscious living entities, whatever situation we're in, is because we desired it. There's nothing happens by accident or chance. It's all depending on our desire and our karma. Those two things determine what situation we're in at any given time. And it is all really based on our desire, because karma is based on what desires we made, what choices we made. So, we're literally forming our own uh, future right now. It's pretty cold out here today. It's kind of really windy. Um, but this, I found this little place, it's, it's totally sheltered from the wind. So, uh, in the Vedas, the, the, the Bhagavad Gita describes like, Whatever the consciousness is fixed on at the time of death, like um, when we die, then the, the most prominent things that we're attached to come up in our mind. Um, so whatever it is we think of at the time of death, whatever's the most important thing to us, it says that yam yam vapi smaram bhavam, you will attain that thing that you're so absorbed in when you die. So. There was uh, this woman in America, and uh, she left um, her entire will for, what was it, $422 million. She left to her cat, <laughs> and um, the cat had everything. Um, she paid lawyers to spend the money um, on behalf of the cat. She gave in sp uh, specific instructions. And she said that because this cat was her really best friend in life, in her life, that she wanted that cat to be the richest cat in the world. So she left all this, hundreds of millions of dollars to this cat. All the property belonged to the cat. And then after some time the cat died, they built a huge tomb for the cat and everything. Then the money got split to various charities. But what might that woman have been thinking of at the time of death? Um, you know, my cat, my cat, my cat. And um, people don't realize the danger. You can be a rich millionaire and then, um, you know, next life, you're chasing after the mice, eating off the floor. So um, whatever we do during this life, moment to moment, day by day, we're forming and molding uh, a consciousness that we'll be in at the time of death. And whatever that consciousness is in, because the consciousness is never destroyed, then according to our desire and absorption and focus, then we will be carried um, to that place. So if we're basing our lives on eating, sleeping, mating and defending, living like animals, then material nature will give us a much better facility you know it's like a lot of animals can have a lot more sex than humans a lot of animals sleep a lot more than humans like I think bears they sleep for like a few months at a time or something so if people you know if we're attracted to that situation if I want to sleep a lot more then there's so many bodies where you can sleep a lot more. So it's interesting. The Vedas, the recommendation of the Vedas is to fix the mind on God through meditation so that at the time of death, one's consciousness will not enter into another material body. The problem is with all the material bodies, they all go through fast things. Birth, old age, diseases and death. So. Even ourselves in this body, we have to grow old, get diseases and die. So, none of them, you know, it's, they're all a bad bargain really. In terms of experiencing permanent bliss. Thank you. Dr. Tommy Goranga.